Good morning, everyone. Once again, Dr. Salim is here with you guys. Uh, let's uh, continue our um, sessions for the review examinations of uh, ARDMS, especially these are review questions for uh, registry exams of ARDMS, which is SPI. Okay, today is the third session. Uh, let me share the questions and let's uh, take it together. Just give me a second. Let me share the screen for the questions and we will we'll do it together. Let's see this. Okay, now the question number 41 and let's see what are these questions and what it is asking for. Now the question is the time which takes uh, to complete one cycle is called which of the following? It's uh, a pulse duration or PD, is it a frequency, is it a period, is it a PRF, pulse repetition frequency, or is it a PRP, pulse repetition period? What do you think, which one can be the correct answer? Exactly, you're right, it's called period. Only one cycle, the compression and reflection, one cycle it's happening, that is called period, absolutely correct. Next question, let me, let me bring the question and, okay. Now, the next question is asking that, let me take this a little away. Okay, now, this question is asking for when cycles of a transducers, like when cycles happening in one microsecond of a transducer. So what will be the frequency of the for this transducer? So if the cycles are happening in one microsecond, what do you think then um, what will be the the unit for the frequency, is it kilohertz? Is it a megahertz? Is it hertz? Is it all of the above? Is it none of the above? What do you think? Exactly, it will be megahertz because they are happening in a microsecond. Absolutely, because if it was a second, that will be hertz. If it was a millisecond, that will be a kilohertz. So here the answer is megahertz. Absolutely correct. Let's go to the next question. Okay, so the next question is, if we use a two megahertz transducer to scan abdominal aorta, what will be the period of waveform of this transducer? Okay, good question. So what do you think? It says two microseconds, two milliseconds, 0 0.5 microseconds, or 20 microseconds, or none of the above. So what do you think? Which will be the correct answer? Exactly, you're right. Because we say the, the formula for this, because we are we, we want to know about the period, the timing of one cycle. So the formula is we said a period or t. T is equal to one divided by f. And here one divided by f is one divided by two because that is the frequency. So one divided by two will give you 0 0.5. And then microsecond because the frequency was in a megahertz. Absolutely, you are right. That's the correct answer. Now, let's do this question. It says, if we use a 10 megahertz transducer to scan common carotid artery, calculate the period for this probe. Same question. Now it's asking if you're using 10 megahertz transducer and scan carotid, common carotid artery. Now, uh, how long it will take for one cycle to happen? That is the basically question. So is it 0 0.1 microsecond? Is it 10 microsecond? Is it 10 seconds? Is it 0 0.1 millisecond? What do you think? Huh? Yes, you're right. It will be 0 0.1 microsecond because when we divide it, 10, one divided by T, same, same formula, just we did it earlier. So that will give you 0 0.1 and that will be microsecond because our frequency was in megahertz. Absolutely correct answer. Now let's do the next question. The next question is a true and false question. High frequency transducer will have better penetration, but poor resolution. This is an easy question. What is your opinion? What do you think? Which one will be there? Is it true or false? The high frequency transducer will have better penetration, but degraded resolution or poor resolution. What do you think? You're absolutely correct. It's false because it's totally opposite. The high frequency transducer will have less penetration, but better resolution. So this is opposite, correct? Okay, let's do the next question. Okay, it says calculate 
period for 12 hertz transducer. So how long it will take for one second to happen? So what is your opinion? Is it 12 seconds? Is it 0 0.8 seconds? Is it 0 0.08 seconds? Is it 1.2 seconds? Or is it eight seconds? What do you think? 12 hertz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it's a little calculation, but try. What do you think? Okay. So, period, 12 hertz of a transit period for 12 hertz transducer. You are absolutely right. It will be 0 0.08 seconds. That is the correct answer. Because again, you have to do one divided by t. So that will be one divided by 12, and that will be 0 0.08 seconds. Absolutely correct answer. Let's go for the next question. Okay. So the next question is asking, if we use a 50 kilohertz transducer to scan the common femoral artery, the distal portion, what would be the time it takes to complete one cycle of my way farm? So basically they're asking for a period, how, how time, how long it will take. So if you're using a 50 kilohertz, okay, think about it. Good. 50 kilohertz to scan the camera. How long it will take for one cycle? So again, same thing. One divided by 50. And I believe that will give you 0 0.02 milliseconds. C is the correct answer. Absolutely, you're right. Now, let's see the next question. Measurement of a distance which complete one cycle is called. Means what is a complete cycle measurement? Length is called. Yeah, you have SPL, you have wavelength, you have propagation speed, you have a frequency, and the last answer is none of the above. So which one do you think is the correct answer? You're absolutely right. It's called a wavelength, and the symbol is called lambda. That is the correct answer. Good job. Okay. Now, let me go back. Sorry. All right. So this question is asking, what is the most common unit for wavelength measurement? Like, which one is the most common unit for the wavelength we're using? Is it millimeter, centimeter, millimeter and a second? And I think there's another answer also, D. It says milliliter. And also E is gram per milliliter. What do you think? Exactly, you're right. E is correct. Most common, it's millimeter. Centimeter is also um, mentioned, but the most common is millimeter. Absolutely correct. That's the correct unit. Okay, now, next question. What is the relationship between wavelength and operating frequency? What do you think? This is the easiest question. Remember the formula. So what is the relationship between a wavelength and operating frequency? So remember, the formula is frequency or operating frequency is equal to propagation speed divided by lambda or wavelength. Now, from this formula, we can say the relationship is indirect relationship, and that will be answer B. Absolutely, you are right. Okay, next question. Choose the correct unit for frequency of the sound. Like which one we most, like which one is the unit uh, used for the sound frequency? So what do you think? Is it hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, and all of the above? Exactly, all of the above. Because sometimes we use hertz, sometimes we use kilohertz, sometimes we use megahertz. It depends. The cycles are happening in a second, millisecond, or microsecond. So all of the above is the correct answer, good job. Uh, next question is a true and false question. The propagation speed of sound is constant as 1.54 millimeter in a microsecond for soft tissue. So what do you think, is it a true or false? Exactly, 100% you're right, it's true because that is a constant. For the soft tissue, the propagation speed is 1.54 millimeter in a microsecond. 
if you convert it to centimeter, it's a 0 0.154 centimeter in a microsecond. If you convert it to the meter, so that will be 1540 meter per second. Absolutely, you're right. Next question. So the next question is, if we scan internal carotid artery, ICA, with a five megahertz transducer, what would be the wavelength for this probe? So what do you think? This is also a formula we have for the wavelength calculation, if you remember. So I'll give you a hint. The hint is wavelength or lambda. Lambda is a symbol. So wavelength is equal to propagation speed of the sound divided by operating frequency. So now your propagation speed is unknown. It's a constant, like just earlier we said, it's 1.54. Uh, millimeter in a microsecond and divided by five because five is your operating frequency. So what do you think? If we do 1.54 divided by five, so that will be? Yes, you are absolutely right. That will be a zero. I, I will leave this question for you guys. Let's see which one is the correct one. Just I give you the, the uh, I give you the formula so you calculate it and select the correct answer. I will leave this to you guys. Okay, next question. I know that was a little different, but I give you that as a homework. Now, the next question is asking, what is the propagation speed of sound in muscles? Okay, this question can be a little challenge, but not really. What do you think? Is it 1450 meter per second? Is it 1540? Uh, for, you know, it's 1450 meter per second. Is it 1540 meter per second? Is it 1000 meter per second? Is it 1850 meter per second? Or is it 330 meter per second? What do you think? You are right. D is the correct answer. It's 1850 meter per second. But some books says, um, 1750, some says 1800 meter per second, but that's a range. Uh, some says 1900 uh, meter per second, but this is like I said, it's just a range. So 1850 meter per second is the correct answer. Absolutely correct. Next, what is the propagation speed of sound and bond? What do you think? This is a really easy question. So. Is it more than 2,000 meter per second? Is it more than 1,000 meter per second? Is it more than 4,500 meter per second? Is it more than 330 meter per second? Or is it more than 15, 14, 50 meter per second? What do you think? You are right. Anything above the 2,000 meter per second is the correct answer. So. We will go from the beginning answer, and that is more than 2,000 2, meters per second. A is the correct answer. Absolutely, you're right. Okay, next question. Uh, sorry, let me go back to the question. Okay, it says, what is the propagation speed of sound in a soft tissue? And this question, just we had it earlier, and I just mentioned it for you guys. So once again, I will just say, so these are the answers, 1850 meter per second, 1540 meter per second, 330 meter per second, or more than 4,500 meter per second. What is your opinion? What do you think? You are absolutely right. Just we earlier mentioned it, it's 1540 meter per second. Absolutely correct answer. Few more questions and that's it. Okay. Oh, there was another option too, but that's not the correct option. Okay, right. now, the next question is, what is the propagation speed of sound and the lungs? So what do you think? Is it less than 300 meter per second? Is it more than 1450 meter per second? Is it between 330 to 1200, uh, like that's a range, meter per second? Or is it more than 2000 meter per second? Very, ah, uh, there is another option too, option E, 1850 meter per second. What do you think? Again, you're right, absolutely, good job. So this is, C is the correct answer. It's the range from 330 to 1200 meter per second. That is absolutely correct answer. Now let's see this question, what it says. Choose the best answer for normal propagation speed of sound and fat tissue. So these are the options. More than 2000 meter per seconds, 
330 meter per second, 1450 meter per second, 1540 meter per second, or 1850 meter per second. What is your opinion? What is, what do you think? Absolutely, you're right. It is 1450 meter per second. That is the correct answer. Absolutely. Because 330, that is air. And uh, 1540, that is soft tissue. And then um, we have another one, 1850, that's muscles. So this is the correct answer. 1450 meter per second. C is the correct answer. Absolutely right. Okay, two more questions. All right, let's do this question, true and false. Propagation speed of sound is lower in soft and stiff structures. So what do you think? This is like a tricky question. Propagation speed of sound is lower. I mean, less and a strict, like a stiff or hard structures. What do you think? Is it true or false? Absolutely, you are right. It is the false answer. So the answer is B, because propagation speed of the sound and is it says lower in stiff. No, propagation speed is higher in a stiff, a stiff or hard structures. So this is false. Okay, the last question. Let's do this question and then we will be good. Okay, so it says, the question is, um, if we use a six megahertz transducer, with a wavelength of two millimeter. So what would be the propagation speed of the sound for this transducer? What do you think? It's an easy question. Because we have a formula for propagation speed of the sound. Okay, exactly you're right. Because the formula for the propagation speed is propagation speed or C is equal to operating frequency, times lambda or wavelength. So we have a wavelength here, which is two millimeter, and we have a um, operating frequency, which is six megahertz. So six megahertz, six times two is 12. And then because megahertz come, that is actually we have a millimeter here, and then we have a millimeter also here in our, um, uh, in our uh, wavelength. So we have, we, instead of, megahertz we can also use microsecond so one or microsecond that's another form of megahertz to be written so we can write it one or microsecond and if we use this as a one or microsecond then it will be 12 millimeter and a microsecond and d is the correct answer absolutely that is the correct answer 12 millimeter and microsecond d so once again, my dear uh, healthcare providers, all those who want to sit for their ARDMS examination, I will strongly recommend to sit uh, for your ARDMS examination with all these questions. They, they will help you a lot. And uh, please don't forget to share the YouTube channel with all those healthcare providers who really need these questions and tell them. To subscribe the channel as well. Thanks a lot and take care. See you guys on the next session. Thank you.